As usual make sure that you have the correct layer active before inserting 3D objects. You can also structure your project by creating separate layers for your interior design, one for furniture for example. Keep in mind that each view can have its own active layer so it could be that the active layer in a 3D view is different from the one in your 2D view. Now activate the catalog control in our toolbox on the right side of the software. The catalog is based on a directory structure and you can navigate through it with double clicks, just like in your Windows Explorer. When you see a preview image without a folder icon you have reached the directory structure level in which you can select one of the 3D objects. A double click opens a preview dialog in which you can check the dimensions. Drag and drop the element of your choice either in a 3D or 2D view. A preview of the 3D object appears at your cursor together with a tool options dialog. At this stage the object has not been inserted in your planning yet. You can rotate it with your mouse wheel and drop it to any position with another left mouse click. The 3D object is now inserted in your project and the tool allows to add multiple objects of the same type as long as you don't cancel it with escape or in our context menu. When you select an object a new toolbar appears and offers tools to move, move with reference point or rotate an element. In our example we want to position the cupboard exactly along the wall. Start the move with reference point tool and then pick a corner of your 3D object with a left mouse click. The object is now added to your cursor and awaits a repositioning with another left mouse click. You can copy existing objects with your Windows clipboard by pressing Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Rotate 3D objects around the Z-axis, the vertical axis in your 3D scene. For an accurate rotation in any angle you can rotate it around a reference point. As with the Move tool the software expects that you pick a point at your object with a left mouse click. Now you have a reference point and you need an axis for the rotation. In our example this is the backside of your cupboard. Draw the line along the backside and start the rotation with a left mouse click. When you drop an object from the catalog into your project, the behavior is different in 2D and 3D views. If you drop it in a 2D view the level relative to the layer in which you insert it is zero. If you drop it in 3D the software automatically detects surfaces your cursor is pointing to and moves the 3D object to this level. In our example you see the difference with the bottle dropped on the floor in 2D and inserted on top of the cupboard in 3D. You can change the color of 3D objects by dropping a new texture or material on it. 